Hello all, welcome another, well it wasn't a mail call but something happened to the video so I have to shoot it all over. Uh, yesterday got Atari 5200 Space Invaders. Um, the box, I need the inlays so I'm still not done on a complete version of 5200. Today in the mail I got Atari 7800 Ace of Aces sealed. I'll end up opening this and just putting it in a plastic case. And then I got, for the Intellivision, Ice Trek. And this should be complete. Booklet. Inlays. So, Ice Trek was complete. And I just gotta go check to make sure they work. I gotta get... In, in television case so I can put this in so that's what I got I don't have many uh, I don't have much coming uh, I have actually uh, one more in television game coming in the mail uh, the last of the GI uh, the, actually, the last of the Transformers P PCS statues, Grimlock. And uh, I'm still waiting for one, another thing I bought on Facebook Marketplace. I bought three lightsabers. Now, I bought them the beginning of the end of October. And I was supposed to get them last in the last week. It seems like every time the due date comes, it ends up getting pushed back on this China Post thing. Because now it says I'll get it, I'm supposed to get it today or Monday. So hopefully Monday I'll come and I get them. Uh, but I don't, I, I'm actually, actually what I feel now is that I'm probably not going to get them. Uh, because anybody knows the stuff I bought off of Facebook so far, out of the three things I bought, I got one thing that was actually what they said it was. Uh, I did buy that Iron Man statue and they sent me that stupid figure and, I ended up having to do a fraud, go open up a fraud case. I got my money back, but it took weeks. And I also bought Dungeons and Dragons metal dice and glow in the dark dice, and never got them from the dice co the company. And that that was a fiasco to get my money back there too. That I got my money back faster, but now it's these three lightsabers. I ordered Darth Maul's dual lightsaber, Darth Vader's lightsaber, and Luke Skywalker's from Return of the Jedi. Now. They normally were a hundred and some dollars. The, the company said they, they were getting rid of their stock because they weren't selling them anymore. So they clearanced what they had, and I just I jumped on them because they were twenty five bucks a piece. Uh, but see, I thought because uh, the company was based in the United States, so I was like, okay. And then I after I ordered them all from China, and I'm like, I just had this sinking feeling in my gut. Since they already shipped them out, I've been waiting, 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 waiting. And I'm still waiting. So, that's where I am with them. That's the only stuff I have coming in the mail. Uh, we're going to Florida this week coming, and we're going to be there for 10 days. Well, 10 days total. Two days down, two days back. Well, a day back and a day, you know. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to Disney, and we're going to Universal Studios. Uh... I couldn't believe how much it cost to get tickets. I mean, just tickets for the park for five of us. For one day pass for Universal was $1,700. I mean, like, ridiculous. And uh, a three-day pass for five of us for Disney was 2200 My wife saved up for this. Because that's, uh, that's everybody's Christmas present this year is to go down there. Was, was, to, was to do this. And I'm like... I could have done a lot better with my Christmas presents than, because uh, I went back when I was 16 years old and actually uh, I didn't enjoy Disney. You know, I waited in waited in lines, waited in lines, and then that was it. But I want to thank all you guys for viewing and subscribing, and as always, King Joe out.